Join the Our Game Supporters Club at Patreon for five euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football Show and much more exclusive material. But it was high drama, high high drama. Uh, I don't know what do you think. What do you think about like the prospect of penalties potentially ending a big GA game? It's we listen. It's great for us and we love it, but it's it's an awful awful way to lose. It's an awful position to be putting lads in. <sighs> Ah, uh, look, people get your comments in. Let us know what you think and what you thought of the weekend overall. And any of the teams that played in the GA, let us know what you think there. Penalties, um, I think it would be unbelievable. I think it'd be brilliant drama. It's kind of like, do you remember when Bubbles took that late free for Tipperary to try and win the All Ireland in 2014? It'd be like that multiplied, well, 10 times over. Obviously, just a slightly different set piece. But like that was unbelievable stuff. Obviously, the penalty didn't, um, or that free didn't go over. But the drama was unbelievable. Like I remember, I was in the press box. But sure, I mean, you're, you're a temporary person. I mean, I've been in press boxes and people's counties are playing. They're going absolutely nuts. But you know, I couldn't, I couldn't contain myself at all as this was going on. So ten times over would be manic stuff. And like even fair? watching the England, is it fair? Do you think it's fair? Like for say, like it's... a big game to end like that is a fair. Like it's a fair on players for. To put that sort of pressure on them. No, just a general, just a general question. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. Yeah, um, I think so. Because like even throughout the game, you have mini segments that kind of amount to to the same pressure that you get in a penalty shootout. Like remember, um, like we've seen penalties, last minute things. I mean, Henry Shefflin in 2012, rather than going for the goal for a penalty against Galway, he knocked it over the bar and ensured a replay. So if if he had to go for it and he misses then he probably gets the same sort of scrutiny at a GEA level. I mean, obviously, yeah. like, it's the entire world watching in the Euro final. But like, if he goes for the goal there and he misses, the level of scrutiny is massive. Like, I'm sure it's still brought up to bubbles all the time, that, that Hawkeye free as well. So is it fair? I mean, it's unbelievably harsh when it goes against you, but I'd love to see it. What, what, what do people think out there? I mean, sometimes you have an unbelievable occasion with an unreal final and then the replay just isn't as good. So why take the air out of the balloon by not going to penalties? I mean, obviously, have extra time. I think that'd be brilliant. So people, get your comments in and let us know what you think. But just to put that back to you. Yeah, it's listen. It's very dramatic for us, and we love it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how 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 fair it is to be putting that much pressure on lads. But from a spectacle, it definitely increases the spectacle, increases the drama. Um, like I remember being part of even. Playing soccer, I remember being part of a winning penalty shootout and I'm part of a losing penalty shootout where I actually didn't get to take my penalty, where I was fifth and we had missed two or three by then. Um, it's an all, yeah, it's an, because you actually don't feel like you've lost when you lose by penalties, if you know what I mean. Because essentially, like that game last night, England and Italy was put down as a draw, essentially. Yeah. And, it, you know, Italy won, won on penalties. Um, um, maybe a replay is fair, but then you're saying a replay could end up going to extra time and penalties again anyway. So it's yeah. it's a difficult it's a difficult one. When they want to finish games on the day, it's probably the the only way really. Uh, yeah. Or unless they wanted to do you know next score wins from a throw-in or something like that. But then it's you know it's a highly contentious free or something like that. It's probably going to decide it from a from a drama point of view. There's probably there's probably nothing better. Yeah. I oh, like I just think it's it was it was amazing stuff. And it papered over the cracks of what was in a lot of ways a fairly tame old game, wasn't it? It was yeah. just because of the noise, Shane. It was just because of the atmosphere that was there and the fact that it was in England and the fact that they had started so well and like probably the vast majority of the crowd just expected them to win thereafter. Uh if that had been a normal game, it it would have been just like, oh geez, this is some great. But it was just because of the atmosphere that was there. Uh, I, I actually that was actually the first full game I watched the whole tournament, and it was probably purely because England were involved. And you just know you're a hater. Yeah, no, I'm not a hater. It's just that you know there's going to be a ball of drama. You know this is not going to be simple, and oh. it was it was anything but simple. Oh, I tell you, they made the Dublin fans, or sorry, the London fans during the middle of it. They made London city centre look make. Um, South William Street looked like the yellow brick road. What they did in there, <laughs> flares and bums, the whole lot. I don't think you'd ever quite see that. Like, let's say Ross Common are playing against uh, Mayo in a Connacht final or something like that. I don't think you'll see flares going up bottoms. It was quite crazy stuff. Donald Farrell says a fair result would have been a, a replay in Rome. 
fair enough point. And NASA coin, I think penalties are an awful way to end the match. And I would not like it in Gaelic games. But the, the reality is we might actually see it this year with the condensed calendar. I mean, this weekend, as we've already mentioned, Watford against Leash, Clare Wexford, the two provincial finals. If they go to extra time and it's still not separated there, it's such a tight calendar that uh, I'm pretty sure we might even have penalties. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before it's going to happen. i tell you what's, what's worse than penalties uh, would be, uh, say, an All-Ireland football final being decided by an advanced mark or something, or something like that, or a, a big monster championship game, as has happened already, being decided by a contentious sin binning slash penalty decision. I think that's nearly wor- that's nearly worse. Yeah. So, you know, we've shot ourselves in the foot with some of the some of the rules that we brought into the various codes already. Um, in fairness, penalties is it's your last resort, isn't it? Really, if you don't yeah. have time, that's the way you try and finish a game on the day. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but it, it gets the job done. Yeah, and Kilkenny would say that. It was never a free for Tipperary in uh, in 2014 either, and Bubbles might well have won the All Ireland with an unwarranted free. I actually thought it should have just been play on at the time. Either way, it went to a replay, and Kilkenny got the job done. Join the Our Game Supporters Club at Patreon for five euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football Show and much more exclusive material.